du tilleul tried to protest. But Monsieur l'écuyer raged on, calling him a procedure addicted cockroach, and before storming out, crumpled the letter in his hand and threw it in Dutilleul's face. Dutilleul was modest, but proud. Sitting alone in his cubby hole, he grew rather hot under the collar and suddenly felt a flash of inspiration. Leaving his seat, he stepped into the wall that divided his office from that of the deputy clerk, but stepped carefully in such a way that only his head emerged on the other side. Sitting at his desk, his hands still shaking, Monsieur Lécuyer was shifting a comma in an underling's draft that had been submitted for his approbation. When he heard a cough inside his office, looking up with unspeakable fright, he found Dutilleul's head mounted on the wall like a hunting trophy. But the head was still alive. Through its pince-nez, the head flashed a look of hatred at him. Even better, the head began to speak. Sir, it said, you are a ruffian, a boor, and a scoundrel. Gaping in horror, Monsieur L'Ecuyer was unable to tear his eyes from this apparition. At last, Hefting himself out of his armchair, he leapt into the corridor and ran round to the cubbyhole. Dutilleul, pen in hand, was sitting in his usual place, in a peaceful, hard-working attitude. The deputy clerk gave him a long stare, and then, after stammering a few words, went back to his office. Hardly had he sat down when the head reappeared on the wall.